Good evening. Welcome to this edition of the 411 Talk Soul Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. Tonight's topic, I'm going to talk about heart disease and stroke. Knowing the signs of a stroke is the first step to stroke prevention. A stroke, sometimes called a brain attack, occurs when blood flow to an area of the brain is cut off. Our brain cells deprived of the oxygen and glucose needed to survive die. Now, if a stroke is not caught early, permanent brain damage or death can result. Now, how does stroke occur? First, there are two types of strokes. There's the ischemic stroke. It's similar to a heart attack, except it occurs in the blood vessels of the brain. Clots can form in the brain's blood vessels, in blood vessels leading to the brain, or even in blood vessels elsewhere in the body, and then travel to the brain. The clots block blood flow to the brain cells. Ischemic stroke can also occur when too much plaque, and I'm talking about fatty acids and cholesterol, clogs the brain's blood vessels. Now, about 80% of all strokes are ischemic. Now, there's the hemorrhagic strokes. Uh, now, they occur when a blood vessel in the brain breaks or ruptures. The result in blood seeping into the brain tissue causing damage to brain cells. The most common causes of hemorrhagic strokes are high blood pressure and brain aneurysms. An aneurysm is a weakness or thinness in the blood vessel wall. Now, what are the symptoms of strokes? Well, weakness or numbing of the face, arm, or leg on one side of the body, loss of vision or dimming, like a curtain falling in one or both eyes, loss of speech, difficulty talking or understanding what others are saying, sudden severe headache with no known cause, loss of balance or unstable walking, usually combined with Another symptom. Now, what should a person do if they experience stroke symptoms? Immediately call 911 if you or someone you know has symptoms of a stroke. Stroke is a medical emergency. Immediate treatment can save your life or increase your chances of a full recovery. Now, is it possible to prevent a stroke? Up to 50% of all strokes are preventable. Many risk factors can be controlled before they cause problems. Now, controllable risk factors for stroke are, of course, high blood pressure, atrial fibrillation, uncontrolled diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking, excessive alcohol intake, obesity, carotid or coronary artery disease. Now, uncontrollable risk factors for stroke is basically age that is greater than 65, gender. Men have more strokes, but women have deadlier strokes. Race. African Americans are at an increased risk. Family history of stroke. Now, your doctor can evaluate your risk of stroke and help you control your risk factors. Sometimes people experience warning signs before a stroke occurs. These are called transient ischemic attacks, also known as TIAs or many strokes, and are short, brief episodes of the stroke symptoms that I have just talked about. Now, some people have no symptoms, warning them prior to to a stroke or symptoms are so mild they are not noticeable. Regular checkups are very important in catching problems before they become serious. Report any symptoms or risk factors to your doctor. Something else to add. Some controllable risk. Don't forget depression, suicide, or stress. As I mentioned in early videos, stress is a killer as well. But stress can lead 
to heart disease and strokes. So the way to prevent some strokes and heart disease, yes, check your family history. Have a balanced diet. Get plenty of rest. Don't put yourself in situations that are very stressful. And if you are, try to reduce the risk factors of stress. Also, when it comes to fats, eliminate them from your diet unless they're mono or saturated fats. When it comes to a stroke or heart disease, it's more of a health issue, but it can lead to a mental issue such as suicide and depression if you're not careful. And also, the stress not only can lead you to heart disease and stroke, but it can put you at risk for becoming a binge eater. And after that, then obesity can occur. And that is a, another health epidemic in this country. But what I'm trying to make everyone aware of is you can be in your 40s, you can be in your 50s, and even in your 30s and still have a stroke. So the bottom line, get educated about strokes and heart diseases and cut out a lot of these foods. And basically in the African American community, we are at the highest risk because look at the types of foods we eat. We eat a lot of grease and that comes from frying our foods. We don't bake enough of our foods. We don't eat balanced diets. A number of us don't exercise like we should. And also causing strokes, some of us put ourselves in harm's way by being in poverty. Now, what does that have to do with strokes? Well, most of us who are in poverty, if we have a conscience, we're going to do what we can to survive. So it's very stressful being in poverty. While that's being stated by me, poverty can lead to depression and it could also lead into stress, and stress could lead into stroke, heart disease, and even suicide. So, what I'm suggesting everyone to do is try some meditation techniques, yoga techniques, brisk walking eating a healthier diet. And when I say eat a healthier diet, cut a lot of salt, a lot of saturated fats, and eat more proteins. And get regular checkups. One thing I can tell you when it comes to men, particularly black men, we become very hard-headed when it comes to seeing a doctor until it's too late. Well, if you have a regular checkup and something is occurring, it could be caught before the problem gets worse. It's like a car, okay? If you have a car and you have a leak in your car and you just ignore it, the problem is going to get worse and become more costly and you're going to have a lot more problems in the future. So one problem can lead to several problems. That's the same way health works. If you don't do the bare minimum by getting checkups, having a good diet, and with blood pressure, get blood pressure taken. If you don't have your own blood pressure cuff, Rite Aid has a free blood pressure cuff, Walmart has a free blood pressure cuff, you can go to a clinic to get your blood pressure taken. And that's the same way I feel about sugar. Everybody should have a one-touch glucose meter. Check your sugar. 
because basically with a lot of these strokes and heart disease, it really comes from what you're eating. Yes, I did mention stress, but what you're eating and lack of physical activity. Again, you need 15 to 30 minutes if you're just starting of brisk walking or a treadmill. But first, start to understand about strokes and heart disease. They are killers. But you can avoid them. Just manage your life properly by getting healthy. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone radio show for this evening, Thursday, May 25th, 2017. You can tune in to the 411 Talk Zone radio show every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Blog Talk Radio. Guest call in number is 215 383 5785. If you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 401 Talk Soul Radio Show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now, on this channel, I do not engage in debates, controversial issues, or emotional issues, nor do I participate in drama and unnecessary bickering. Why? Because it is counterproductive. My channel is for educational purposes only. What I'm doing is giving you the information so you can find the answer to your problems. But all of the information that I am delivering is realistic but positive. And what I'm trying to do is give you an idea of how to get your mind corrected so you can alleviate all that corruption that you've been fed. Because we believe a lot of the corruption, it's very tempting, but the corruption puts negative energy into our brains. Therefore, we don't grow. The more positive energy that we have in our brains, the better we will grow because our brains respond to positive energy. And also, I'm here to give information to individuals who don't understand how the real world works. It's very challenging. So, in order to grow, you can seek help from others who have been in the real world. Don't make the mistakes that I made because the real world is very challenging. It fluctuates every day. And if you're not used to this roller coaster ride, by all means, you will suffer a stroke or heart disease from stress. So I'm just giving you information that is realistic and positive because knowledge is power. And if you have a topic, a business, or a new YouTube channel that you would like for me to discuss on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, please email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, please leave your comment in the comment section under the video. But make sure your comments are pithy, no bloviating, pettifogging, or filibustering, if you wish to opine. Now that's it for this video. Till next time, my name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other and have a wonderful and blessed night. Good night.